there's um like a primal feeling to the entire piece because it's so focused on this man's body for most of it. And um, through the beginning, obviously, there's a, a sharp contrast between his a dark skin and white background, which makes it very striking to watch. But I thought it got more interesting when it transitioned into um, the other portions of the, the piece. The water sequence reminded me a lot of like um, being in the womb, I guess. There were a lot of themes of being trapped or uh, being bound in. There were a lot of sequences with the body that made him feel like he was being wrapped up in ropes or trying to break out of something. And I thought the water transition reflected that a lot. We him trying to get out of a place in which it was sort of binding him in. As the piece progressed, it um, reflected more of a freedom. And I felt like as we got into the second stages of the third stages, probably, of him being in the... Um, the warehouse situation with the uh, violinist playing. And then later on, as he moved outside, I felt like it was a progressive um, growth in terms of his ability to be free, of his ability to express himself. So in that sense, I felt like it was a, um, a pretty evocative piece. And it's easy to have a strong reaction to this piece, especially uh, during the sequences in which there's like um, some news clippings, I believe, some political clippings. And I think the idea there was about how the outside world can sort of put pressure on you and what's going on in the world, how it has an effect on you and makes you feel like you can't be yourself or you can't um, break out. And I felt like the dance portions of it were a metaphor for using art as a means to uh, break out of that. You definitely feel the anxiety of the piece right off the bat with the overlay of the clock ticking over the stressful violins and it's literally like he cannot be in his body. He's so uncomfortable and trying to pull out of his skin. Um, and then even into the water, it's like you're trapped underwater. It almost looked like a whirlwind of water under there and the plastic wrap being unable to get out except for a breath of air. All of that you felt like being trapped in your body um, and not wanting to be there. And um, when you break out, he eventually broke out, there's still not an escape. There's all those words and the news and the media flooding around and all of that, and there's still not quite a break. But then there's that violin and the music and dance and that as an escape and that as a way to kind of reconnect with your body. Toward the end, he was doing similar movements, but more comfortable and free and outside and just kind of accepting um, his own body through the arts. The music uh, was very repetitive uh, and it induced this almost trance-like atmosphere. The sound design outside of the music I also thought was very good. There isn't a whole lot of change sonically within the film so when it does happen it stands out and your attention is called to it. Uh, every additional sound outside of the music is given this uh, sense of purpose. Uh, the change up in the middle was surprising. It was effective. Uh, I really enjoyed that. And I think overall the film had a very clear sense of meaning, a very clear sense of purpose, uh, even though I may not have been able to extract all of it on a first viewing. Just by watching it, I can tell that there's a clear vision here. I can tell that there's something of substance there. It begins with a lot of musical dissonance and unpleasant sounds with this unsettling dance and eye contact with the dancer is making with the camera. It's all something you sort of want to escape, but you can't because the dancer is in complete whiteness. There's nothing else to set your eyes on. So you're forced, you're trapped into watching these unsettling movements and this music that is not pleasant to the ears. And I see that as at first being unsettled. And then the dancer becomes entrenched in water and is trapped behind this almost like ice um, and we start to have this the music is becoming a little bit more pleasant but the dancer is trapped and he's attempting to escape and then we have no music and almost no dance as the dance the dancer is running down a hallway trying to escape and then we have the return of the music this time we see the violin player and the violin player and the dancer are more in sync they found each other they complement each other, and he seems to have started to find his voice and find his place with the violin player. And I think that is the theme of this dance is solely find, not only finding your place in the world 
and trying to escape, but finding a voice, finding a platform for change and freedom. Really dug the music, you know, it's like almost freeform classical in the beginning, um, you know, and it develops over the course of the piece. Uh, in the end, when the bass is thumping in, you know, it almost reminds me, sounds almost like a, a Peter Gabriel tune or something, you know, it's a, uh, the music is very, very cool, evolves throughout the piece. Uh, now the performer, let's talk about the performer. What a wonderful job. Oh my gosh, you know, of course he's, he's, a, he's a, a fantastic mover, a fantastic dancer, a fantastic expressor, you know, um, you know, and the camera's so close in on him so often in the piece, he's just, uh, you know, he does a great job as an, as an actor, as well as a uh, dance performer, you know, so, and he's just amazing. I love, I love the, the setup of it all, the, the photography and the editing of it, you know, yeah. Uh, I like how we, we have him against blank canvases so much. We start off with him in this, this white room. It's almost like THX 1138 or the, uh, um, the, the, the video for Seal, uh, crazy, you know, um, where it's just a blank canvas. So we're just aware of just him, you know, there. And, and you know, he falls into the water, transitions into this, it's this blue scrim. It's almost like a prison, um, you know, and it's just really cool. He ends up outside, um, you know, uh, in, in wide open spaces at the end with the musicians around him. It's like a, a freedom, you know, so, um, yeah. So we get an idea of, uh, it's almost like a birth to struggle to, uh, to freedom um, in this, in this piece is kind of what I get from it. I liked how it kind of progressed in these different not chapter, but I guess kind of chapters, these different like little phases um, as it was going and you kind of transition from one into the next into the next. I really liked that because it added another kind of dimension and added another level as you were going, as you were progressing. It built more in. Um, in the beginning, it's really stark. It's really, you know, all white background, it's relatively close up, and then you kind of, by the time you get to this like very blue, I can't tell if it's like plastic or film or whatever that he's interacting and dancing in front of, it's, you, you're adding so much more into it, and I really liked that, I really enjoyed it, I thought the movement was really, really interesting, and how it was kind of really driven by the music. A lot of really bold choices. I'm um, thinking mostly uh, just the framing. Uh, definitely in the first half, really some interesting choices there with, again, with the framing. Um, the coloring too, I thought was uh, just a great choice. It had this really good contrast. Um, and there's some good practical effects there too. It looks like they had a lot of fun with the camera. Um, and, you know, the wrapped in cellophane bit, uh, depth of field, uh, really played with everything to keep it uh, sort of dynamic and moving. Um, so really strong filmmaking sensibility. It's mainly one guy, like a one man show, one guy dancing to certain beats and light uh, environments throughout. So that was pretty interesting how uh, it told his own mini story from him, from him dancing throughout all, throughout all the different uh, light environments and stages and transitions. Mm -hmm. 